My name is Jonathan Pasquale, and I'm the owner of Taproom Coffee here in Kirkwood, a uh, historic neighborhood in Atlanta. Taproom's a specialty coffee and craft beer spot, so kind of a community hub where you get great coffee, great beer, um, and uh, it's a good, good hangout spot, place where you can study or meet up with friends, have some good drinks. In starting up Taproom Coffee and starting up a business, you know, there's the funding side. And, um, of course, went through all the usual channels of uh, getting personal loans from family and friends, putting in amount of savings of my own, and um, and all of that. And uh, and then there's the newer, relatively um, option of crowdfunding, um, biggest one being Kickstarter, where there's Indiegogo as well. Um, so I, I just researched and, and looked at is it possible to do that for a coffee shop bar. Um, and saw that you know a handful had done it and, and done it successfully, and, and so just seeing, um, you know, what did they choose to do in putting together projects? Um, how did they present it? And then, of course, like what kind of rewards and, and that kind of thing, some practicalities, but also, um, you know, in, in general, how, did, how does it fit into starting up a place? So for me, um, I started looking at crowdfunding through Kickstarter as um, two main. Um, thrust behind it. One, to get a little bit of funding because that helped. Um, I was short a little bit um, in finishing out the space and getting some equipment and uh, having all that uh, actually funded. And so uh, I very practically needed that money. And then uh, a second um, uh, reason to do crowdfunding would be as, as kind of a, an initial marketing campaign. So um, Kickstarter is um, is known. It, it's uh, it's a platform that people are starting to really be familiar with. Um, so I knew it was an area that I could get someone on board because of the name Kickstarter, um, and in ways that I wouldn't be able to if I just said, "Hey, I'm starting Taproom Coffee." Um, so if I say, "Hey, I'm starting Taproom Coffee," and here's a Kickstarter project uh, campaign that we're uh, that we're launching, then um, had that just even a little bit of a, a additional appeal to it because people could go to that and be like, all right, well, what rewards are they offering? Or, you know, let me look at this video that shows more about the business. Um, so I was able to, to see how it fit in with, um, with the flow of opening and how it really could help me. And then, um, and then after a lot of research, started putting it together, put together a quality video and, and uh, lined up some partners through which we could do some, some cool rewards. Um, and then there was the matter of choosing how much we would set as our goal. For Kickstarter, it's all or nothing. Um, so we're like, all right, so do we set it at $5,000 or, um, or what? And looking at other similar businesses, other coffee shops in particular, people had funded it anywhere from like 5000 bucks to maybe like twelve to 15000 um, and no one really above that. So I wanted to shoot conservative, but I didn't want to, um, to crazy undershoot so I said, why not $15,000? It seems like it's on the higher end of what other people have done. Um, I think we could do it. And so, again, with the ethos of um, trying to do everything to the best of my ability, I researched the mess out of Kickstarter projects and um, saw what the, the tricks and tips were. So followed all that as much as I could. And then when we launched, it was crazy successful. So. Uh, we launched our project uh, with a $15,000 goal, and after 24 hours, hit 50%. Uh, after seven days, we fully funded. Um, we ended up um, around, uh, I think, 140-something uh, percent funded. Uh, ended up at $21,000, and um, so it it blew out my expectations. And and I think that one of the huge benefits of doing the Kickstarter campaign was kind of gauging that interest, was seeing that. Man, people really wanted this place to open. Um, Atlanta wanted it to open, and, and half our backers were from the local neighborhood of Kirkwood. So, seeing that there was a, a huge desire for it, and uh, people would really be enthusiastic about it opening in their neighborhood. So, it was a really cool gauge of that interest, um, and then it also did bring in people through our front door because they had to pick up their rewards, or uh, they wanted to check out the place that you know had this successful Kickstarter campaign. Um, and additionally, through that, through the campaign um, even happening, um, we got picked up in a story by Creative Loafing, um, and uh, it was the beer writer who uh, who had written the article. Um, definitely from that side, but um, 
but featured the Kickstarter campaign. And so if we hadn't done the campaign, maybe we never would have had that article written about us. And as a direct result of that article, we had a lot of attention because um, creative loving is huge in Atlanta. So a lot of people walk through our doors because of that article. Um, so it, it really had a lot of a lot of pluses, a lot of good results from that campaign. Um, maybe even would have had all those good results even if it weren't successful, um, the campaign itself. I think we still would have gotten some good press, exposure, um, and a gauge of, of response uh, before we would even open.